One of the dog commandments says, Bow shall not have chocolates. Why is this so? This is because chocolate is toxic for them. Let's try finding out how and why. The main culprit here is the toxic substance called theobromine which is present in chocolates. It's not only harmful for dogs but for us humans as well. However, as humans we can metabolize chocolates easily. So unless we don't consume chocolates in large amounts, we are safe. Dogs on the other hand do not have these specific enzymes to break down the chocolate. They process it very slowly, allowing the toxicity to rise into their system. So slower digestion is what makes chocolate harmful for dogs. But what we also need to realize is that the toxicity of theobromine is dose dependent. This means that the overall effect of chocolate intake depends on the amount and the type of chocolate consumed. More the amount of chocolate eaten by the dog, greater will be the theobromine consumed by it. For each kilogram of the dog's body weight, if it consumes more than 20 milligrams of theobromine, it becomes toxic. And different types of chocolate have relatively different amounts of theobromine in them. White and milk chocolates contain the least. Dark chocolates, on the other hand, has about three times more theobromine compared to that in the milk chocolate. Baker's chocolate has about six times more, while cocoa powder has almost 12 times more theobromine. So darker the chocolate, more will be the theobromine it contains and greater will be the harm it does to dogs. So now we know that since dogs cannot metabolize chocolate fast, it proves to be harmful for them. But do you think chocolates could also be harmful for other animals? Actually, yes. For example, chocolates are more lethal to cats than dogs. This is because cats too have low metabolism rate for chocolates. In fact, even lower than that of dogs. But what keeps them safe is the fact that they are not attracted to chocolates like dogs are. The toxicity of chocolates for a particular animal is determined by its rate of metabolism of chocolates. But now consider this curious question. At any point of time in our lives, could chocolates prove to be harmful for us as well? This will only happen if our rate of metabolism for chocolates decreases at some point in our lives. But is that possible? Curious? We leave this cue box open for you to explore. Let us know about your findings in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do share this video with all your dog-loving friends and let them know the harm chocolates could cause.